start and I get to ride my bike to school and I can do all kinds of tricks like wheelies and stoppies and and roadies and I can even do bunny hops dude I am so excited what about you guys you guys excited huh I live close enough to the school that I get to walk with my friends do you want to walk with me this year dusty oh boy that would be fun but I live too far away to walk my mom is gonna give me a ride in our new dragon wagon. It's actually her minivan. But that sounds way more cool, doesn't it? I hope I can find it. Is it over here? No. No. Oh, maybe here. No. Under here. Sprinkly, oh. dude. What's with the surge party, dude? Well, Betty, the bus driver, broke her foot last week playing basketball and won't be able to drive the school bus next week for the beginning of school. So the chief asked if I could fill in for her. That is very nice of you, Sprinkler. What in the world are you looking for? Well, I asked a professor to help me study for the transportation exam so I can get my license. But I can't find my study guide anywhere. And he's gonna be calling any minute. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you come in. My name is Sprinkler, and this is my clubhouse. Wow. And I can't find my study guide anywhere. Will you help me look for it? Yeah. You will? Okay, thanks. Let's go. Hmm, that's a real nice coloring book there, Reggie. Oh, man. I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if it's in here. <gasps> Hi, Mama. She's so cute. Whoa, is it in there, buddy? No? Book. Sprinkler! Sprinkler, I think you found your study guide! Sprinkler! 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 Why are we calling Sprinkler? Oh man, I'm in big trouble. Professor Tumbleweed's gonna call any second. What am I gonna do? Hey everyone, what's all the commotion? Reggie, Red Dude! Sprinkler lost his study book, man. And we were helping him to look for it. Yeah, unsuccessfully. Hmm. I wish I could help, but I was just finishing up coloring a picture in my new coloring book. I, I found it this morning, and I stayed in the lines and everything. Coloring book? Where did you find that coloring book, Reggie? Well, I found it in the kitchen by the peanut butter and jelly. Reggie, that's no coloring book. That's my Arizona Department of Transportation Safety Study Guide. 
Can I have it back? Oh, well, I wasn't even done coloring the pictures in yet. Hmm. Man, why is it all sticky? Ugh. Mmm. I remember now. I got hungry, so I went to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Ooh, that was a good sandwich. Oh, no. It's the professor. And I don't know if I'm ready or not. Oh, well. Too late now. Hey, do you guys want to stick around and help me study for my transportation test? Yay! Great! Then we can all learn together. You little bugger. Hello? Professor Tumbleweed, is that you? Hello, who's calling this professor? Professor, it's me, Sprinkler. You were calling me. I did? You were calling me. Why in the world would I be calling you? I'm well, busy. I'm very busy. Person. I asked you to help me study for my transportation exam so that I can drive the school bus next week. What? Why in the world would I be driving school bus next week? I do not know this. No, no, no. Not you. Me. Why would I drive you to school? I do not know. No, Professor. I am driving the school bus next week. And since you are the director of transportation, I asked you to help me study for my, I mean, my exam. Ha. Well, well, of course you did, my young fellow. I was, uh, I was uh, just testing you. Ha, that is it. Yes, uh, congratulations. You pass your first question. Well, Professor Tumbleweed, thanks. I guess. Should we begin? Uh, of course, of course. You can call me uh, Professor Twigs. All my students do this, Professor Twigs, yes. Twigs. Twigs, like, uh, like these branches of the tumbleweed. Twigs. Oh, not twigs. Twigs. Okay, Professor Twigs. Where shall we start? Oh, let us see. Uh, hmm. You see the book? Yes? No? Yes? You know, help me. I do not know this. I do not know. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, aha! Here we go. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay. Where to begin? Let uh, chapter one. Okay. Here we go. How to remove the crankshaft crank shaft, off of the engine block. Um, Professor Twiggs, are you sure that's the right textbook? In mine, chapter one talks about pedestrian safety. Hmm? I do not know. Oh, oh, uh, <clears throat> oh, oops, uh, yes, I am knowing this, I am professor, uh, I was just getting ready to change oil in uh, automobile. Why don't you tell me, now I look silly, you don't, you don't help me out, I do not know. <laughs> textbook, okay, textbook, uh, no, no textbook, uh, aha, I am so hungry, you, uh, no, bad for me, yes. Textbook, where are you, oh, I have it now, okay, let's see, uh, <clears throat> Chapter one. Oh, here we go. Pedestrian safety. Uh, okay, okay. What or who is this pedestrian? Um, well, I think it's a person. Actually, Sprinkler, you are correct. But it comes from the Latin word ped, which means foot. Or pedester, which is a person who walks around by foot. Well, of course this is. Right you are, my little rodent friend. <laughs> uh, oh, please be excusing myself. Uh, this is uh, Leonard. Uh, he is the, how do you say, the lab rat. <laughs> hmm. That voice, it's so familiar. Could, could it be? My brother, Lenny? Is that you? R Reginald? Is that you? Why, I haven't seen you since you ran off to follow the circus. How, how have you been? Eh, the circus was okay. You know, 
always moving around from place to place. But the food, it was awesome! All the stale peanuts and popcorn you could eat! And that chewing gum on the floor, yum yum. How are you doing? Well, after running around the maze for a while, I accidentally drank the experimental potion H2R2D2. And since then, I've had a smashing good time learning about astrophysics, molecular chemistry, you know. Ooh, the Astros. I saw them play the Dodgers last night on TV. No, 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 no. You too, okay. Reunion time will be at another time, okay? We need to get back to this. How do you say, uh, example of a pedestrian? Well, I guess anyone who's walking around town, in the park, on the sidewalk. Hey, I'm going to be one next week when I go to school. Oh. That is correct. Yes, and, and what are these rules to follow to make be a safe pedestrian? Ooh, I know this one. It says here that first, a pedestrian should always walk on the sidewalk and never on the street. Second, a pedestrian should always cross the street in a crosswalk. But Sprinkler, the crosswalks are only on the streets near my school. What about the streets by my house? There aren't any crosswalks painted there. This is a very, very good question from such a smart little hippopotamus. If these streets by your house do not have the painted lines for, how do you say, the cross of walk, then you need to go to the corner by the stop light or the stop sign. This will help the vehicles to stop and to see you much, much better. Right. And then once you get there, stop at the curb or at the edge of the road. Then look and listen for traffic. And then... Ooh, I know this part. My teacher said, look left, look right, look left. And when it's clear, I continue checking as I cross the street. Well, of course this is. And don't be forgetting, when you're crossing at the busy streets, to be crossing with this adult or this uh, crossing guard. Yes, and running, no, no running is very, very bad. Walking, always best, yes. Yep, and we need to try to remember to help cars see us. Sometimes it's hard for drivers to see little kids or little hippos, especially at night. Right, Professor Twigs? Well, of course this is. Okay, okay, this is good for chapter one with pedestrian. Let us go to chapter two, which is, uh, oh, here. How do you say, bicycle, no, no, no. Bicycle safety, yes, this is it. Whoa, dude, this is where my sweet ride comes in, right, dude? Are you riding your bike to school this year, dude? Oh, yeah, and it's gonna be killer, dude. Let's see what the professor has to say about bikes. Professor? Professor Twigs? Professor? <laughs> professor? Professor! Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, I am being so sorry for this. I did not get this sleepy time this last night. Oh. Why? My poopy, of course. He is keeping me awake all this night long. You know, poopy? Yes. Are you sure? Really? You're poopy? Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. He is being so cute. You know. He's chewing these shoes and putting these bones into the ground, you know. Eh, anyway, he is, he is keeping me up snoring all this night long. He is like, um, like a freight train or a Big Mac truck, you know. <laughs> ah, me, 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 choo, choo. You know, you're kind of, no, you're not so bad. Ah, choo, choo, this kind of thing, you know. <laughs> oh, you mean puppy. Not poopy. Yes, yes. This is what I say, poopy. You know poopy. Bow wow. Anyways. <laughs> Twigs is awake now. I am being very sorry. Okay. Back to this uh, chapter two. Um, yes. B cycle. No, bicycle. Yes, safety. Uh, okay. What is the most important thing for these people riding these 
the bicycle. Yes, this. That's easy, Professor Twiggs. Always wear a helmet. <laughs> well, of course this is a helmet. Oh, I think I have one. Let, let me see. What is this? Do you have it? I oh. put it right back where oh. it's supposed to go. Check Professor over there. Twiggs. Check where, I do not. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. okay. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, thank you. Here it is. Yeah, I got it. I got this. Aha. A helmet will keep your noodle from turning to strudel if it hits the ground. <laughs> I made a funny noodle, strudel. <laughs> I should be comedian instead of this professor. I do not know. I'm a pretty funny guy. No? Strudel? Noodle? That doesn't sound good, dude. Good thing I always wear my helmet. That's right, dude. And we need to always make sure to only wear approved helmets and that they fit properly. How do I do that, dude? Well, it says here that you can check the fit by placing two fingers above your eyebrow. This is where the bottom of the helmet should rest. Your helmet should be snug and level. Don't use pads to make a larger helmet fit. Use pads to make a good fit a great fit. And don't forget the straps. Adjust the straps so that the V is under each ear. Buckle the strap tight enough under your chin so that it is snug when you open your mouth wide. And finally, after a crash or an impact to your helmet, throw it in the trash and get a new one right away. Why, of course this is. Oh, oh please be excusing me for one minute. I must do experiment for helping Poopy to stop snoring. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Better try helmet on this time. Protect the noodle. Okay. Red or blue? Oh, blue. Okay. Let's try this this time. Please be standing back. You never know. What is this? This should have boo-booed or fizzled or something. I'm not understanding. Hmm. Perhaps you should have tried the binary compilation of hydrogen peroxide instead of sodium hydroxide, Professor. This is a good idea. I will try this this next time. Okay. Anyway. Now, uh, what should we be doing this uh, riding bicycle next to these busy streets? Well, let's see. It says here that you should ride your bike on the right side of the road. Obey all traffic laws. Walk your bike when crossing the street and to make sure that you have reflectors and that nothing is broken on your bicycle so that it's in tip-top shape. Why, of course this is. Okay, this is very good, okay. Oh no. It's not working, I, I do not know. Uh, where is this, uh, where is this hammer, hammer, okay. No, no, it's not good this time, I do not know. Aha, okay, thank you. There we go, okay. This wrist clock, you know, it takes the leaking and keeps the ticking. Okay, now we go on to chapter three. Ah, being passenger in this automobile. Oh, that's me. My mom will be driving me to school this year. I'll be cool while going to school, waving to the ladies from the dragon wagon. Well, buddy, let's see what it says about not just being cool, but how to be safe. Okay, here it is. In Arizona, each person riding in the front seat of a vehicle must have a seat belt properly secured and fastened while that vehicle is in motion. Also, babies under one year and under 20 pounds should always be in a car seat facing the back of the vehicle and never be used in the front seat where there's an airbag. Make sure to secure it with a special clip so that the seatbelt will work properly. He always was a know-it-all. Yeah, special clip. Ooh, is that a Cheeto? Well, I am definitely not a baby, so I don't need one of those. Well, it is true that you're not a baby, but you may still need a booster seat. Booster seat? Oh, man, 
That's definitely gonna cramp my style. Oh, no, no. This is not being important to cramping this dragon style. What is important is to being safe while going to this school time. Thanks, Professor. Dusty, it says here that anyone 40 to 60 pounds should use a booster seat so that the shoulder and lap belt will fit a smaller person better. What? Oh, man. I don't like it when the seat belt gets all up into my neck. It makes it hard to wave to the girls. Well, Dusty, shoulder belts make it much more safe to ride in vehicles. But you know what? Some kids take that belt and put it behind their back because it rubs on their necks. This is really bad. Why is that? Well, the seat belt is made to go over your shoulder and across your lap. If you move it, it won't work right. This is why you need to use a booster seat, so that the belt will fit you the right way and keep you safe. Can I still wave at the girls? Why, of course this is. Waving to pretty girls, hello girls. <laughs> this is always a good idea. But not wearing the seat belt correctly, this is definitely not a good idea. Well, okay. It is best to be safe. I will use the booster seat. As long as I'm not a baby. Oh no, definitely not this cry baby. Well, it also says that we should be good passengers by not distracting our parents or getting out of our seat belts until the car is turned off. And you can remind your mom and dad that wearing a seat belt is not only safe, but it's the law. Oh. Sometimes even parents forget to be safe. Oh, Sprinkler, you are right. I like to make sure both my parents have their seat belts on before we move an inch. I like to make sure my parents are safe. That's great, Holly. You are so right. Sometimes our parents get so busy that they forget to be safe as well. Of course this is. These parents are always forgetting things. Forgetting birthdays, forgetting the soccer practice. Forget, forget, forget. Anyway, what were we talking about? I forget. Yeah, Professor, we were talking about helping to keep our parents safe by reminding them to put on their seatbelts. Of course this is. Okay, this is good. Okay, what is the uh, final chapter? Well, Professor, the last thing is bus safety. Of course this is. I do know this chapter pretty well. First, children need to always remain seated while riding the school bus. I mean bus. School bus. <sighs> anyway, you shouldn't get up or move around while the bus is in motion. Next, it's important not to distract the bus driver. They need to keep their eyes on the road at all times. And finally, when getting off the bus, you need to look both ways to make sure that traffic is stopped in both directions, especially if you're exiting in front of the bus. Of course this is. Sprinkler, my friend, I think you will do very, very good on this test. Hooray! Thanks, Professor Twiggs. I feel much better now about the rules to being a safe pedestrian, as well as all the different types of transportation. I think I'm gonna do really good on my test now. I can't wait to take it. Of course this is. And don't be forgetting to take the pencils with you to the test. And getting good night's sleep this night before. Not like me with the poopy snoring all this night long. Yes, but, but more importantly, don't forget to eat a well-rounded breakfast before you go. Can't get enough of that vitamin C to make sure that your neurosynapses are strong so that the axon dendrites fire correctly in order to achieve the correct answer. Man. You are still so bossy, always telling people what to do. I am not. I'm simply stating the facts on how to achieve the highest point total possible for the exam. Sure you are. I think you're just trying to impress Rachel the Rat from fifth grade. Look at me. I'm so fancy and smart with my bow tie and stuff. Blech. <laughs> That's it. I'm telling mother. <laughs> Something's never changed. I look like I outsmarted him. 
Ooh. Thanks again, Professor Twigs. Bye. Well, thanks everyone for all of your help. And to you guys, it was great having you here to help us learn about being safe while traveling to wherever we go. Looks like I'm ready to take my test. Wish me luck. Hey, Charlie, it's almost time to go over my safety checkoff. Is the TV ready? sure did learn a lot today. To help us remember what we've learned, let's use Sprinkler's safety checkoff. First, we learned that a pedestrian should always walk on the sidewalk and cross the street at crosswalks. If there isn't a crosswalk painted there, cross at the corners and remember to look left, right, and left again, and always try to help cars see you. Next, Professor Tumbleweed talked to us about protecting our brains when riding bicycles by wearing a helmet that fits properly. Also, when riding our bikes, we need to obey all traffic rules and make sure that they are in tip-top shape. After that, Dusty reminded us of how we can be safe while riding inside of vehicles. Whether you're a baby that needs a special infant seat, a toddler that needs a car seat, or a bigger kid in a booster seat. Everyone needs to be buckled up to keep them safe, even adults. And not only that, it's the law. And finally, for those of us that will be riding the school bus this year, we need to remember to always stay seated while the bus is moving, never distract the bus driver so they can drive safely, and when getting off the bus to look both ways, especially when walking in front of it to cross the street. All right, well it looks like we're all checked off. Did you have fun today? I know I sure did. And I hope you stay safe. Until the next time, we can all meet back together here again for more fun at Sprinkler's Clubhouse. Bye-bye. <laughs>